All right, we're here with Ryan Collins. Uh, he's fighting out of Gladiator Combat Club and Jackson BJJ in Jackson, Tennessee. Uh, Ryan uh, is going to go pro on his next fight here coming up soon. Tell us a little bit about yourself and your upcoming fight, Ryan. Uh, I've been fighting, or I've been training, say, for uh, four and a half years or so, and I've been fighting for about four. So uh, I, didn't, I didn't wait too long to get started after I've been training, but, uh, you know, I felt good, felt ready, and, you know, I took most of my losses as an amateur, and uh, I was 16-3 and three as an amateur and took my, took my three losses. You know, I learned from them, and uh, I've, knock on wood, I've been on a good, uh, good win streak here lately, and, uh, you know, I'm excited to make my pro debut for prize fight, and, I'm, you know, I'm glad they... they uh, they offered me the fight, and I can't wait for December 15th. What's your current amateur record? 16 and three is my uh, amateur record. Wow, 16 and three. How many years have you been fighting? Uh, four, about four years is what uh, all the fights happened in about four years, and I was out for about a year, or a little less than a year one time. So, uh, therefore, when at the beginning of my career, I fought a lot. Uh, you know, sometimes maybe twice a month, so that too much. And uh, I learned further on, you know, that was way too much. And here lately, uh, you know, I've been, I had some fights with V3 fights, and uh, they helped me get my name out there real big. And uh, that's why I am, you know, that's why I'm here now. So, uh, you know, thanks to everybody that helped me on the way. You know, it's very appreciative, and uh, I can't wait, man. So what, what got you interested in MMA? What made you, that very first day that you went to walk into a gym to do MMA, what made you do that? What made you step in? I had seen it on TV and uh, I had talked to the friend and said, man, you need to go check it out, see if you like it. I went in there and uh, I loved it, man, from the first thing. You know, I really like jiu-jitsu, but uh, I feel like I'm a well-rounded fighter now. I started out, when I first started in my career, that's all I was good at was jiu-jitsu. That's all I felt like I could do. So, But now, man, I step in the cage. I don't care if it's, you know, standing up or on the ground. I feel comfortable, you know, anywhere. So, uh, but yeah, that's, I just, I seen it on TV and said, hey, I might like it. So I went and checked it out and it was for me. It's, you know, it's fun. Everything about it. I don't do it for money. I don't do it, you know, necessarily because I think I'm going to go far. But, you know, I'd still be doing it if I knew I wasn't going to go anywhere because it's fun. So, so you, you mentioned that, uh, you know, you like the jiu-jitsu and uh, you're really good at it. But, you know, up until your last two or three fights, I actually thought that you were a stand-up fighter. And you, you, and you pulled out your jiu-jitsu. I was like, oh, my God, where'd that come from? I mean, it's... Well, man, I fought, uh, all right, you got Sammy Lua, who was supposed to be, he was 16 and 0, and he was supposed to be one of the best jiu-jitsu guys around here as an amateur. And then you also have uh, Jesse Walsh, who's, that's where his strength is, is the ground. So my last two fights, I knew I, want, I was going to keep it standing. Even though I felt good there, you know, I'm not going to go somewhere that they feel good too. So, you know, if I, since I feel well-rounded, I'm going to keep it standing up. And uh, that's what I did. And you'll see me in the last, my last two fights, you know, I'll say, hey, you know, stand up. Let's fight. So... You know, that's not just because I can't do jiu-jitsu because, I, you know, I very much so, man, trained it every day and uh, got some great jiu-jitsu guys here because uh, Jackson BJJ merged with Gladiator. So now we got, you know, uh, a great stand-up coach and a great ground coach. So, uh, you know, I'm ready wherever it goes. All right. Do you, uh, you know much about your opponent coming up in, this, in your debut fight? This is something different, man. I've, I've, I haven't. I don't really know much about him at all. Uh, I think he's from Texas, and he was like a – uh, 12 and one or something like that as an amateur. So he, he's he's built himself as an amateur and he's done pretty good. Uh, he I guess I can't find no videos or nothing, so there ain't gonna be no studying and making game plans. I'm just gonna go in there ready to fight and uh, ready to throw some elbows, man. I'm finally pro now, so I can throw elbows and knees to the face. So I hope he's ready for that. <laughs> well, uh, we're excited to see your uh, debut fight. We hope we're there to get to watch it with you. Uh, anyone uh, you'd like to thank as far as sponsors or uh, people that's helped you get to where you are? Yes, uh, of course, my coaches, my training partners, uh, Gladiator Combat Club, Jackson BJJ, um, my wife, she deals with me uh, in the gym every night, you know, being away from the house, she's taking care of the kid. Uh, also, uh, I'd like to thank my sponsors, Merciless Fighter, um, local MMA online, you know, they, they, they help us get our name out there by, you know, doing uh, interviews and uh, photography and everything, so. You know, thanks, thanks to everybody else that helped me along the way, even from the beginning. So, thanks to everybody. All right, well, I appreciate you spending the time with us, letting us know, get a little bit to know a little bit about you. Uh, we'll be looking forward to your fight, and good luck. Thanks.